Hey everybody, we are here for a Monday with Deco Art. Um, so I have this bag. I picked this up at Scrap when I was there recently with Claudia Rossi and Sarah Whitney, and both from Crazy Island Family. They were in town visiting, and this bag was something I picked up there. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it was only like a dollar or something. Um, obviously, it's from a Bike to Work Day event. And um, it's some kind of obviously bike bag. It's made out of de decent canvas fabric. It has a nice long strap so you can put it cross body. And I picked one up because I thought, you know, it would make an interesting project at some point. That was before I got my deco art stuff. So <laughs> um, I had no idea that that was going to come in and I was going to end up doing this with it. But there you have it. So we're going to work on making this something that's a little more usable. We're not going to completely cover up the design necessarily as much as de-emphasize it. And to do that we're going to use a variety of DecoArt stencils, some of their fabric painting medium, and some of the paints that they sent me. So I'm going to get some stuff together and I will get ready and I will be right back. If you're going to do this along with me Whatever bag you're using, make sure you put a piece of cardboard or chipboard or plastic or something inside so that when you're painting, that the, fa the paint doesn't seep through to the other side. Okay? So you can like paint one side and then you can, you know, paint the other side. And the designs don't like sort of meet in the middle and glue the bag shut. <laughs> that would be bad. All right, I am going to get my stuff together. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got some colors of paint here. I've got my textile medium, oh here, fabric painting medium, got some stencil brushes, some palette knives, some paint pouncers which might be nice to stencil with, and I've got a bunch of stencils. The only thing I pulled that's not deco art is a piece of punchinella, yeah? And I got this piece of punchinella off of a seller on Etsy. So if you go to Etsy and you type in punchinella, like a whole bunch of people come up. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you should do is read the fabric painting medium directions and it says on the back mix paint with medium two to one. So two parts paint, one part medium. Air dry design 24 to 48 hours. Heat set 30 seconds with iron. Wash inside out on gentle cycle. Now I usually instead of heat, actually heat setting it like with an iron I usually just toss the bag in the dryer or the item in the dryer for a while and heat set it using my dryer and that usually works fine. Um, when we're painting this bag today I'm probably going to heat set the one side with my embossing tool just enough so that I can flip it over to do the back side um, without messing up the paint. And we're going to just not do anything complicated. We're going to just layer paint colors and stencil marks on top of each other to get something interesting um, like I said, without really covering up what's already here and just kind of de-emphasizing it with something else. All right, so let's get started. First, let's open our tools. So these palette knives also come with some texturing tools, which you could, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, which you could use on here and drag them through the paint if you wanted. I don't know that we're going to do that, but I'm not going to go too far with them. It comes with five of them. But we're going to need these, at least one of these. We're going to keep that one out. Stencil brushes. We're going to need those. Paint pouncers. We're going to try these. Somebody asked me um, today, I think I just got the message through today, about stenciling properly so it's not all smudgy and smeared underneath. So maybe we'll talk about that while we're working on our bag. I'm going to open up all the stencils. This one that I just pulled out is called Snake's Web. This one is called Sunburst. This one is called Tornado. These are all Andy Skinner stencils, which are by, uh, distributed by Deco Art. At least here in the U.S., I guess they're the distributor. The 
Deco Art Ink. Um, this one's called Serendipity. I like this one for the bag because it's full of full of positive affirmation words like dream, create, serendipity, imagine. This is one I've been using called Whirlpool, which I love this one. Then we have Tread Carefully. Which I can't get open. <laughs> And then we have Burning Rubber, and then we have this one I thought we might use called Strike the Pose, which is just faces. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my sort of textury or kind of background stencils like these because we're going to start with layering those and I'm going to set the ones that the couple that I think might be focal point stencils aside okay then we need a plate I use ceramic plates to mix all my paints on whether I'm working with acrylics or watercolor or whatever and I think I want to start with do I want to start with dark or light? Um, I usually either start with my darkest value or my lightest value and work my way towards the other way. I might want to start dark. This is Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics in Burnt Umber. Now you can mix this fab uh, fabric medium with Art paint, craft paint. You can mix it with all, any kind of paint. And you can turn any of those kinds of paint into fabric paint. Now, I just splattered that there, but I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do that. I'm not gonna be too, we're gonna be layering colors on here, so that really doesn't matter in the long run. Okay, I put the, there it is. I keep putting the fabric painting medium out of my sight. <laughs> So two parts paint, one part medium, and then mix them together until they're completely mixed. Yeah. Then we're gonna not go too far with the baby wipes. I'm gonna grab my baby wipes we might need those. Okay, so we're going to start with one of our stencils, and I think I want to start with, hmm, I'm going to just follow my instincts, and I just already, I've said that so many times already, we just got started. This is the one, what is it called, tire treads or something, but it, to me it looks like chevrons. I'm going to take the biggest brush, this is a number 12, I'm going to just pound. So the key to a nice crisp stencil is not too much paint, as dry as a dry of a brush as possible. And if you do that, then you're going to get a nice crisp design. You see right there, it's nice and crisp, but look where I had too much paint. Now for this project, I don't mind, but if you really want to make sure that you're doing a nice, getting a nice clean design, then you want to dip the brush in the paint and then tap it off on a clean spot so that you don't have too much paint on your brush and you want your brush to be almost dry. Oh, I like that one. Okay. This is a cool stencil. Now for this project, I am not completely really caring too much if the stencil's not crisp and clear, if I'm not catching all the spots, if there's some 
clear spots and some smudgy spots. Um, all of that is totally okay with me. This is about layering marks and colors. It's not about getting a crisp, clean, clear image. When you're planning on this, doing a project like this, you know, start out by just picking your favorite colors, and but then also make sure you pick a couple of neutrals. Um, the neutrals will help offset the bright colors that you choose, your favorites. I'm not going in any particular pattern. I'm kind of doing a random order. I'm just trying to make sure that there's kind of a balance on here. I think I want to put some up here. Okay, that took a little longer than I wanted to get the next stencil on here because my card on my SD card in my camera got full. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to the next color. This is another DecoArt Media Fluid Acrylic. This is Cobalt Turquoise Hue. I'm going to do the same thing. Two parts paint, one part fabric medium. them together. I'm going to use this stencil now. keep going alternating my colors and layering my stencils right on top of each other like this until I get something I really like. I'm going to fast forward through the process and I'll be right back.
there you have it. I need to let it dry now. My hands are all icky. So I just layered stencil on top of stencil, color on top of color, until I got something I really like. And I really love the way it turned out. I love the row of faces across the center with the words inspirational or positive affirmation words scattered throughout. And I ended up using some of the leftover paint to do the handle. This is one side, and this is the other side. So then you need to let it set for 24 to 48 hours and then heat treat it and then when you wash it, wash it inside out. And you're good to go and you have this really great messenger bag. It's a nice bag I can take. I can throw my cell phone and keys in there when I go out walking around the neighborhood and I'm not hunting up a small crossbody bag or some kind of tote bag to take with me. Maybe I'm going to go pick up the mail. This is a perfect bag for that. By the way, this is a great bag for me to go walk to the mailbox. Um, anyway, I hope it gives you some ideas of what you, do, you can do. Get out those old tote bags that you don't like the way they look anymore and get some deco art media paints and some fabric medium, um, painting medium, and have at it. Now, the colors I used, I used the Americana fabric painting medium, which is from deco art. I used deco art media fluid acrylics in Quadacrido Magenta. Carbon Black, Titanium White, Thalo Turquoise, oops, Cobalt Turquoise Hue, Cobalt Teal Hue, and Quadacrone Violet. I ended up not using these other three colors, but that's okay with me. <laughs> I like the way it turned out. All right. I hope this gave you some ideas of what you can do with your old bags you've got laying around the house and a few different products from DecoArt. I love these, by the way. <laughs> these are great. Uh, anyway, go out and have some fun. Paint those bags. And don't forget to do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later.